Good morning, good evening, good good to who needs it. <laughs> I'm giving a little stank apparently today. Uh, I have some cereal nobody wants to eat. So I'm going to make a Rice Krispie abomination. And while I do that, I'm going to give you a did you know. I went on a kick recently about learning about public executions. As one does. And I know that there have been several very interesting things that I want to talk about that have come out of that. But the one that I'm stuck on at the exact moment is Marianne Cotton. The thing about Marianne Cotton's execution that is notable, Marianne Cotton was executed March 24th, 1873. She was 40 years old. Um, she was executed by hanging. She was known as the Black Widow. It's believed that her hanging was botched on purpose. Marianne Cotton was convicted of only one murder. However, she's believed to have around 21 victims, most of them children. And when she was hanged, the rope was not long enough. So rather than breaking her neck, she just sort of dangled and they were forced to push down on her shoulders to strangle her. Marianne Cotton is a English convicted murderer who was executed for poisoning her stepson. She tried to put him into a workhouse and when they said that they would not take him, she responded allegedly, I won't be troubled long, he'll go like all the rest of the Cottons. Marianne Cotton was married four times. Her last husband was Frederick Cotton, who she was bigamously married to. Soon after she married him, one of her former lovers became available and she convinced Frederick to move closer to her lover. And then Cotton died in December of that year of a mysterious gastric fever. Frederick Cotton was far from the first person in Marianne's life to die mysteriously of a quote unquote gastric fever, given Marianne's cockiness and the nonchalance with which she treated all the deaths and the confidence which she had in collecting life insurance policies. Cotton is believed to have murdered three of her husbands, at least two of her lovers, and 12 of her children. Of Marianne's 13 children, only two survived. Margaret Edith and her son George from her marriage to James Robinson. Margaret Edith was born while Mary was in prison and her execution was stayed for a period of time so that she could give birth. So that is my did you know. If you like this, like it, and I will have more horrible history facts and did you knows and story time about writing research. Thanks for listening.